Speaking of which, I mean, look at my tits. I don't need to do much, do I? If there is an accomplice, do they also become blackened? So you ask, and so I shall answer. With a riddle. If you ask me the money, I'd say, yes. Each murder is allowed to have an accomplice, but only the one who does the killing will get to graduate. So in other words, two people can work together, but one of them has no chance of profiting from it. Then there's no way anyone would work together, right? But what if they did work together? And they just didn't know about the rule. Ugh, good grief. Enough already. No, okay? There are no accomplices also, in this case. Also, if you look at, like, their character profile in, like, the red bit, how tense their feeling shows by, like, how much they're moving. Like, right now, he's pissed off. And he's moving, like, fucking crazy. Did I say that out loud? And now he's calm. Anyway, I didn't go to the dining hall. And I didn't take the knife. So I'm not the killer. See? Tense. Okay, so then, who did take the knife? Hina seems the obvious candidate. After all, she just said she was in the dining hall. True. No, no way! I swear it wasn't me! Sure, but can you or anyone else prove that? I can. That's right! Sakura was with me the entire time I was drinking my tea. Uh, I hate to have to ask, but just to be sure, Sakura's... Me. Right. <laughs> but then, couldn't either one of them have grabbed the knife? Actually, no. Because, um, well... Just spit it out already. I stayed in Hina's room last night. I got so scared thanks to those creepy videos. I wasn't really thinking, I just... Cheers for the poor Monokuma. <laughs> Which means, we have airtight alibis. You stayed over? Doesn't that violate one of the school regulations? No. We're not allowed to sleep anywhere but the dorms. Yeah. But it doesn't say we have to stay in our. Oh, it's gonna room. go on about room switch. So, I don't think that's a problem. It is a problem. A boy and a girl spending the night together. Jealous. Unwholesome. Jealous. I'm a girl. Yeah. You are. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so. Sorry. I've had that feeling before. But Look, it it's so bad, it's like, oh shit, I've really possibility just hurt your self-esteem, haven't I? Actually, there is one other possibility. Right, Hina? Oh, yeah, that's true. One other person okay. did come to the dining hall while we Who's were there. That? Why didn't you say so in the first place? Well, because... They're not here anymore. No. Sakura. Sayaka. Yeah. She's the one who came to the dining hall. And then later, she wound up dead. Which means, Sakura had both weapons. Because she's in the room with the sword, and she's in the room with a knife. So, Monokuma. Yeah, Monokuma ran in, he said, Aha! Here we go! Nicked it, and then just went off. I got it! Oh, that was a bit of an easy one. Sayaka is the one who took the knife? Well done. That's the only possibility. And thinking back on it, she was acting kind of unusual. When she came into the dining hall, she didn't even look at us. She just went straight to the kitchen. Okay. So, this is seeming like... She had a knife. By the way, yeah, I do know who's done it and everything like this, but I don't know. I kind of want to give hints when I can, when it like makes sense. So she was tense because of the video as we saw, because she was like completely grayed out kind of thing, and she got a knife. As she left, so. she said she just wanted a drink of water, but most likely the person who took the knife was the victim herself. Yep. I'm sure. I'm sure she just took it for self-defense. So you're saying the knife she took was then taken from her, and she was killed with it? In that case, you may not have taken the knife, but you still could have killed her. Uh -oh. What? See, he did do it after all. Oh no, because we weren't in the same no, room. Also, why is she getting turned on by that? So that's how you would twist the argument and send us all off in the wrong direction? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
possess a most terrifying talent. Don, if I don't do something, they're going to blame me for the murder. Don't you understand? If they convict me, everyone's going to die. Hold on. It's still too early to decide conclusively that Makoto is the killer, wouldn't you say? Because you see, if the room did belong to the killer, then they did something most bewildering. And until we unravel that little mystery, you simply can't declare that he's the killer. Bewildering? What the hell are you talking about? Something was missing from the scene of the crime that by all rights should have been there. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Um... Hmm. Hangman Gambit's basically, um... Hangman. Yeah, important phrase. In the right order, mouse. Oh my good luck and have fun. Something should have been at the scene but wasn't. That must be a crucial point. If we figure out what that something is, I might need to have a look at my bullets. I'll see if I can get it. I. So it's not R. Oh, hair. Okay. No one's hair was there. That's so right. I don't really see there what wasn't a point single that hair is. on the floor. So the culprit removed some evidence? Yes. And if I were the culprit, why would I need to get rid of all the hair in my own oh, room? That's true, I see, yeah. It wouldn't be unusual at all to find my hair at the crime scene if the crime scene is in my room. The reason all the hair was gone was to remove any trace that Sayaka had ever been there. Also, if they cleared up the hair it's it means that it's someone with unusual hair or like that's very different from everyone else's so it could be Celeste it could be Leon that makes sense does it not no if that were the case um, had to do something about the body hmm. itself yeah it could be Kyoko <laughs> yes very true very it true. won't have been Hifumi Okay, then why wasn't there any hair on the ground? It might not have been Toko. The killer got rid of it all, of course. He removed any trace that they had ever been there. Then it could be Mondo. Precisely. It's simply beyond reason to believe that the room's owner and the killer are one and the same. Then Makoto isn't the culprit? Actually, yeah, everyone's got different hair. Apart from maybe Bioka and Chihiro. Are you sure we can decide something so important based okay, solely on the no. absence of some hair? Oh, actually, maybe Taka. No. And there are someone else uses dark hair that I can't remember. Ifumi. So those two. Maybe. I would like it's a weak to argument now. Reasons. Do you remember anything remarkable about the bathroom at the scene? It was broken. Sayaka was attacked in the main room first, then fled into the bathroom, right? Yeah, then they ran after her, got into the bathroom, and stabbed her. And how did the killer get into the bathroom? Did they have any trouble with it? What do you mean? It's fairly certain that the killer had some trouble getting into the bathroom. There was clear evidence left behind. Do you remember, Makoto? Yep, the doorknob. Don't up. I don't know if people who aren't British know what that is, but it's basically when someone farts, they have to say don't up, and then after, they're fine. And if, until they do, oh no, they have to say it, oh, fucking hell, it's been so long since don't up as well. Someone says, yeah, if someone says doorknob, they get to punch them until they touch the doorknob. But if some, if that person says safety before they do it, then it's fine. And nothing happens. Well, it's fine either way, it's just a fucking lad thing to do, isn't it? I got it. Evidence That's why I left the time of ticking up. You're talking about the doorknob, right? Huh? 
The doorknob? What doorknob? The doorknob for my bathroom. It was completely broken. See how the top part was unscrewed? And the doorknob's about ready to fall off? Oh, yeah, true. The in trying to bypass but the what lock, does it mean? they ended up nearly that. removing the entire doorknob. This is another most bewildering act for the After this owner. fact, you could the end the case by doing the toolkit thing. Because so it was clearly unscrewed, not ripped off. Room? But if the only choice you have is to break it, you break it. There's nothing bewildering about it. You still don't see? Okay then, let's take another look at how the incident unfolded. Hopefully that will help you understand. Hugo said it was a bewildering act. I almost didn't notice it at first, but is that the key point here? There's a bit more to learn about non-stop debates, which I, yeah, because there's multiple, yeah. Only one lie or contradiction. Right. So unless it's something obvious, we let it go the first time. Bathroom door frame. By the way, at some point we'll get multiple bullets for this. The incident took place in the Kodo's room. Saika was first attacked in the main room. She then fled into the bathroom. Then the killer ran after her. And they got into the bathroom. At that point, the killer had to try and bust down the door. Because Sayaka had locked it. Oh, that might be wrong, actually. That might be wrong. The reason my bathroom didn't oh, no, open not. wasn't okay, because fine. it was locked. After all, the girls' rooms are the only ones with locking bathrooms, right? Yes, now that you mention it, that is true. Then why didn't your bathroom door open? Because it was stuck. Huh? What are you talking about? My bathroom door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. Monokuma over there can testify to that. Yep. True as true can be. Ba -ba 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 -da -da -da. But you you're supposed to be the only one that's good. But you've already made that joke. So the reason the door didn't open was just because it was stuck. But the killer didn't know that and assumed it was locked. So they tore apart the doorknob to get in. The killer won't be mechanical. Okay, but then why would the killer even think the door was locked in the first place? Everyone should have known you can't lock any of the boys' bathrooms. The killer could easily make that mistake, thanks to one important detail about the scene of the crime. The room switch. For some reason they were convic convinced the door was locked. Which means the important detail that killer didn't know was... I got it! The killer must not have realized that it was my room. What? Are you saying the culprit didn't even know where he was? That's inconceivable! And yet, he's absolutely right. Say what? Well, to be more specific, what the killer didn't know was that Makoto and Sayaka had switched rooms, which is what led to the misunderstanding about the bathroom. If Sayaka had been in her own room, then... Then there would have been a lock on the door, and they would have had to break through! So they had no idea how unnecessary their actions were. Ultimately, we can't know if it came open by force or simply by accident. But the killer must have been considerably confused, with no idea how they actually got the door open. Regardless, it was a pointless act. Wasting time trying to break down a door that wasn't locked is... Definitely something I wouldn't do, since I would have known exactly why it wasn't opening, right? That is a definite possibility. So the killer would have to be someone who didn't know they'd switched rooms? Then Makoto couldn't have done it. Well, there we go. There's the badger. Well, well done. First prize. That's what I've been trying to tell okay, you. Then who did do it? I'm sorry, but I give up. Quit without saving. What? But 
What happens if we can't decide on who we think did it? Well, why don't we just vote right now? Majority rules! Majority rules? You really think that's a good idea? Yeah, our necks are on the line here. Someone seriously needs to do something. For serious. Does no one have any other thoughts or questions? It does not matter how trivial they may seem. Oh, as a matter of fact, I do have one question. Oh, you... <laughs> you don't gotta sound so disappointed. It's fine, it's fine. Just ask your question. Oh, yeah. Okay, so... Um... Well, I was just wondering, how did the culprit get into Makoto's room in the first place? It's true. Yes. How did the killer get inside? Maybe Sayaka just dropped the key somewhere and the culprit picked it up. That's possible, right? I don't think so. That seems way too convenient. Then... maybe someone picked the lock? Negative! If you remember, Monokuma made it quite clear that the locks are all unpickable. Fine. How about this? The killer got in the easy way. No. They could have knocked and said they wanted to talk or something, and oh, Miss no. Maizono just let him in. By the way, it's looking like the only way the killer could have got in if for some reason the door was unlocked by Siaka. No, that can't be it either. Oh, trying to argue against me? Sounds like someone doesn't know his place. Oh, fuck off, anime porn. Oh, or hentai, what? even. Exactly, can't that be it? Fucking hell, he's got a big hand in that one. <laughs> Hulk hand! Um. Okay, so one of them's about. Let's have a look. No. So one about oh hang on is that it no switching rooms. I got it. Oh, I because fuck. I accidentally was pressed enter, scared, not the click. Remember? Oh, I'm so That's glad that was the right one. Switch rooms in the first place. Because <laughs> there are a couple it could have been. <laughs> fuck. The same goes for you. So oh, the same goes for you, Sarah. Okay? No matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. Even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? Knowing what she'd been through, I just can't believe she would have opened the door for anyone. What if her being scared was a lie? Yeah. Huh? Well, what the hell is that supposed to mean? Why would she lie about something like that? I know you don't want to consider it, but look at this and tell me. Can you still deny the possibility? There's something I want to talk to you about. Just us two. In five minutes, come see me in my room, okay? Check the nameplates to make sure you don't get the wrong room, okay? I found a notepad during my search, and I shaded in the top sheet with a pencil, and these are the words that appear. Oh man! I've totally seen people do that on detective shows. When you write, it can leave an imprint. So yeah, she's Get definitely the got detective paper, knowledge. And you can see the words. When I saw that, I was like, holy crap! I better make sure I rip the paper out before I use it from now on. It's a pretty old-fashioned technique. But even the classics can be surprisingly useful sometimes. Oh, and I should also mention, I found the notepad on the desk in Makoto's room. Huh? Which means, only someone who had been in Makoto's room before the incident could have written it. Then either it was Makoto who lived there, or Sayaka who switched rooms for a single night. Probably Sayaka. So, Makoto, did you write this? No, I didn't. But of course you didn't. Because the note also bears a perfectly legible signature. Sayaka's signature. Then that note. Sayaka wrote it? But why? Why would she write that? The note was likely her way of getting in touch with a certain someone. She must have slid it under their door to let them know she wanted to meet with them in secret. If you got an invitation like that from the ultimate pop sensation, what young man could resist? Of course, I'm only into 2D, so it wouldn't have any effect on me. Yeah, yeah. Can we be sure anyone even got this note? And honestly, even if they did, I do not think they are at all involved in what happened. Huh? 
What makes you say that? 